I seem to recall I threatened I would do another junk food video while I was back in Angola. I did, didn't I? Well, let's get started. Something that I found a little bit elusive during the time that I lived here last year were candies that were more on the sweet side. I mean, there was plenty of gum in all the supermarkets, but not, not so much on just like something, say, like a gumdrop, something simply chewy and sweet. My father being a big fan of jujubes, I, I felt he would approve of me at least locating some gumdrops in this city. Now these are Brazilian gumdrops, and what does that mean exactly? I have no clue, but I don't really anticipate them to be different than any other gumdrops. What? Why would they be? What can we expect? I'll just try out one gumdrop and see what it's like. Hmm. Okay, the fruit flavor in this was really strong. The candy is still nice, soft, fresh, which is what you want. You, I. I don't like gumdrops that get a little bit too hard and, and you have to kind of struggle and really work your jaw to get through them. That was perfectly fine. That's a good gumdrop. Let's move on. You'll recall I spoke before about the way of which uh, more specifically the plant called way of which uh, and talked about how oh, there's also this great drink that you can get, Agua Tonica. Well, then I saw this new product, the Way of Witcher brand, except it, it's Guarana. Um, so I'm like, wow, I, I feel stupid because I don't know what that means. What is this? I looked it up and discovered it's a plant found primarily in Brazil. It's got some caffeine in it, so it's used in a lot of energy drinks. So, well, the other way of which it drinks are tonic water or ginger ales, it appears that this one is meant to be sold to people looking for an energy drink or a sports drink. So this could be Kind of different. I have no clue what it's going to taste like. Oh no. Oh no. The, the top did not open correctly. Oh dear. The, the presumably delicious beverage is partially trapped inside. Okay, I'm going to have to drink all of this clearly, but for now, I will restrict myself to just a sip for the video. That was, that's a little odd. Um, it's like on the verge of having flavor. You know, like those oral rehydration salts that are kind of supposed to be flavored, but when you mix it all up, you, you're like, well, I can, I can kind of sort of see how this might have a taste to it, and it almost does. It's that same kind of taste. That's what I'm reminded of. So, um, yeah, uh, a little bit unusual. I guess this will caffeinate me up a bit for the rest of the day. Won't that be lovely? I have no idea how its caffeine compares to, say, a cup of tea or a cup of coffee, but if they're using it in energy drinks, I, I assume that it's a decent amount of caffeine. Anyway, nothing wrong with it. Let's move on. I've already tried 
numerous potato chips of the Lulu brand. You may recall some of them from last year, but I have not tried their flavor for barbecue. How can you do barbecue wrong? I don't think you can, not unless the flavor is too mild. If you taste more potato than barbecue, then something's going wrong. On the other hand, it is also possible to make an exceptional barbecue chip, one that has a flavor that, that just makes you go, oh, wow, and you, you wanna just keep eating them, right? That's always the dream. But how often do you find barbecue flavored potato chips that really are that? Yeah, not that often. Uh, not a lot of flavor escaping as I smell it, but we'll give one of them a try. That's okay. Um, it's really, no, it's not especially strong. The spices are all right. If the bag didn't say barbecue on it, I would taste it and think, hmm, what are they going for? I guess they're trying to do barbecue. So, uh, thank you, bag, for explaining that you're supposed to be barbecue flavored chips. I, I, I see what you did there. It, it mostly works. It, it's all right. Moving on. And I have no idea how I didn't notice this one the whole time I was here last year. I can only assume this is new or was out of stock, but it, it claims to be like a pina colada, not pina, because I don't see an accent anywhere. So pina colada. And I mean, that this is a flavor that I've enjoyed in all kinds of other soft drinks that you may recall from earlier videos. So this, we'll just see how it compares to any of the others that I've tried out. For my money, blue is still the best, but how does it smell? Well, the coconut smell is certainly very strong. Give this a try. Hmm. Yeah, coconut. Like, if it just said that it was Astro Coconut, then I'd go, yeah, 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 carbonated coconut water. That That's kind of it. The pineapple's really not coming through. Despite the color of the liquid, the pineapple flavor is really subdued. Maybe it'll come through more as I drink more of it, but from just one mouthful, it's, uh, no, it, it's, it's a coconut drink, more so than anything. So not as strong as the others. It doesn't have that perfect blend that you get from the blue brand. Well, I guess Astro is also technically a blue brand. The, 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 the one that calls itself blue, you know what I'm talking about. Let's move on. One last product. And you may recall that I had, towards the end of my time here last year, a dark chocolate bar by Regina, or as we Canadians say, Regina. And here we have one that is pineapple flavored. So to, I guess, kind of make up for some of the deficiencies in that bottle of Astro, we'll see if Regina has some nice pineapple flavor mixed in with some chocolate. You'll also notice this was the most expensive thing that I purchased this time around. And I mean, it, it, it's really not a very big chocolate bar. It's thin, it's not especially wide. Chocolate bars are more of a luxury than the other things that I've shown today. Hmm. A 
again, something where the packaging really helps you out because you taste it and the chocolate is so strong. You're like, but wait, there's something fruity in there too. What is it? The fact that it's pineapple is not immediately apparent because the chocolate is so strong. It is mostly chocolate. I mean, it, you know, I, I don't know where the pineapple comes in in terms of what's inside this, but this is primarily chocolate. So it's chocolate with a bit of a pineapple taste in there. Not, and not bad, I would say. Not bad at all. As a chocolate bar, pretty good. And that concludes this session. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find these videos entertaining. I certainly enjoy making them. Good night. Night, babe.